Welcome everyone. Today we're standing in the old Ebenezer Meeting House, commonly referred to as the Old Brick Church, which is located about six miles northwest of Winsburg. This beautiful church, which was built in 1788 by Adam and John Hawthorne, would later become the birthplace for the Associate Reformed Presbyterian denomination in South Carolina. The Hawthorns, along with the faithful congregation, would work in their fields by day and would work building the church by night. The original pastor, James Rogers, would pastor this church until his death in 1830. He's buried on the grounds today. Follow me and I've got some interesting things to show you. Here we find a plaque recognizing the Old Brick Church as the birthplace of the Associate Reformed Presbyterian denomination here in South Carolina. Directly below it, we find an important inscription made in 1865. During Major General Sherman's march across the South, Union troops came to Little River only to discover that the bridge had been partially destroyed by the Confederate cavalry in an effort to impede the advancement of Union troops. The Second Brigade repaired the bridge using floorboards and joists that were removed from this church. An apology letter was left by an unknown Yankee soldier written in pencil on an interior wall of plaster in this historic meeting house. It is still legible 150 years later. The letter reads, Dear citizens of this community, please excuse us for defacing your house of worship so much. It is absolutely necessary to effect a crossing across the creek. Signed, an unknown Yankee. This great congregation continued to grow until the onset of the Civil War, where the young manhood of the congregation began to join the Confederate troops in masses, leaving the church without anybody to tend to. The church continued to grow and was repaired and remained active until the 1920s. Today it is listed on the National Register of Historic Sites. Follow me and we've got one more stop to We're standing here at the final resting place of Reverend James Rogers, who was the first pastor of this great church. In this historic cemetery, we also find remains of heroes from the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. One of the major requirements to be buried in this cemetery today is that you have to be a direct descendant of somebody who was a member of the congregation of the Old Brick Church. The Old Brick Church is, does not meet on a regular basis, but once every three years, a special ceremony is held and a traditional church service continues. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to share this video using the hashtag Finding Fairfield, and we'll see you soon.